me Every page I read is all up in my head Everything I said is everything I read Wake up every morning 5 a.m. and I aim to go higher More grateful for the blessings that I get 602 and I still represent These bars overdue so I pay like it's rent Cause I ain't rap I promise I ain't coming short. Dan DeVito, BHS, that's the newest trio. I bet energy will smile at the three amigos who be flowing and going like a Rio is real. You can see these rhymes on my breath. I should sell them by the kilo to all the gringos and the bices and the brothers and the tears. And all. Then I think back when we didn't have much, just rice on rice. Joy, Coy, turn to Roy Jones when I'm boxed in. You can even hear the ding, ding, ding. Now it's my turn to turn these tables. They'll be turning again, rethinking. Need a minute, not a few seconds. I'm watching them in Anything that gets in my way, it's time to get paid. I keep no duerme, bling bling bling. What's my breaking point? Before I stop the noise, I gotta change the tune. It's only time I make the choice. I gotta make my point before I stop the noise. Or when I buy my tune, it's only right. I make the choice. What's my breaking point? Point, point, point. And that's my breaking point. I be cooking up that Phoenix joint. Now I'm home alone with Coley cooking, thinking about the plans I have for collecting coins. Zoinks, bitches, boy, yeah, man, I'm past demon time. Smoking up the blind, coming from the grind. Who up, man? You know what the time? I'm sitting in a sauna in the middle of summer. Staring at my phone, man, I swear I get dumber. Bling, that's a text, it's a text I get from her. Lady wants the pipe, so I become a straight plumber. Later that day, still day. They say it's a drug, but the fact I got the dog in me. Double down on two jobs, damn, ain't no stopping me. Damn, so chill, but I'm slacking out some sleep. I've been on for, mm, I don't know, a couple weeks. I'm feeling incredible to Eat him a handle, fuck no federal, smoking the metaphor, target and let it go take it. It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night, I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night, I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. Ten steps ahead of these fools, that's why they fucking with me instead of fucking with you. Ten steps ahead of these fools, that's why they're fucking with me instead of fucking with you. Dodging every hit like Mayweather. Burly warming up like Mayweather. Everybody knows you don't want the fucking smoke. Found out the secret code. Boom, time to explode. Gotta go get it, cause it's not coming to me. Money don't stop. Chest like no more dead weight. Hope you like my new design. I'm a new brand. Yo, I deal is starting 65. I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes. And the stress is overwhelming me. Oh my. I need some remedy to take care of me. You gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes And the stress is overwhelming me, oh my I need some remedy to take care of me I gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up yeah, I'm charged up, pop my collar Feeling fresh to the end, man, I'm a doctor Can't take it easy, money keeps on teasing She a whole sleazy, finds a way to keep me When I smoke a blunt, I go <laughs> Can't take it slow, always on the move move Money on my eyes like some fucking cartoons I'm feeling blessed, bro, I, 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 too I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes And the stress is at work but can't be on no bitch It ring, ring, hello, that's the money calling me What you want? Everything, but I gotta buy my needs And I gotta pay myself first Build up on my net worth Fuck it from my pocket, buy a rocket, then I leave Earth Money need a zillion, not to make a building Made a hundred million, all ones Got a different vision, like a less prescription Looking like commission, go on I got my money walk Money, 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 money I hear the money talk I see money, 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 money With the blood, just the voice Making all the noise Feeling like Mario Collecting all these coins Tenemos una meta Pa' que lo sepas Dinero en la bolsa Hasta que no quepa Así, get it Adios a dos días de comer maruchan Maybe one day gotta keep on busting my ass Working hard, not enough cash All good though, I'ma keep on trying Stop denying every opportunity to make some green Hey, we're motherfucking live Let's start
Let's start this live stream with the RTU, the Road to Undisputed theme song. Let's hit it. It's motherfucking fight night! It's motherfucking fight night! It's motherfucking fight night! Living with the left right! It's motherfucking fight night! It's motherfucking fight night! It's motherfucking fight night! Living with the left right! It's time to go night night! night, night. Hello, ladies and motherfucking gentlemen. I'm going to keep this mouse right here close by me. Let's see. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Road to Undisputed. I am your host, known, better known, uh, known for being your mom's boyfriend. Not that, I'm just playing. Uh, welcome to another episode of Road to Undisputed. Here we are, which I'm going to call it, covering the fight of Amanda Serrano. Versus Nina Mank Mank I think that's how you say your name. Uh, you know what? I don't, don't want to mess her name up. Manke pronounce Okay. How to pronounce me? Manke. Mink. Mink. Nina Mink. Okay, so Amanda Serrano versus Nina Mink. Hell yeah. Hell the heck yeah. Nope. Yeah. So if you're just tuning in, check out the, the poll. Uh, it is 7.30, so I'm on the clock. I'm on the dot. Usually I start these live streams around 7.30 uh, for the fights. And I like to do... Uh, I only like to cover the co main event and the... And the whatchamacallit. And the main event, obviously. Because... That's... Just makes... It makes it so much easier. Uh, and right now we have the co main event. Believe it or not, it is Jake Paul versus... A uh, veteran, not a known veteran, small time veteran, Ryan Borland. And I do got the poll up. So vote. Who do you think got it? Jake Paul or Ryan Borland? Uh, so we're testing out this new thing, vertical live stream, especially on YouTube. And I'm seeing how it works. I'm seeing how it goes. And my whole goal for Road to Undisputed is to commentate on the actual fight. Uh, you know, do like, kind of like those old school radio, uh, which I'm going to call it, uh, radio host that would like watch the fight and commentate. And I've been even re I've been even rewatching Hajime no Ippo. Shout out to the people who know who Hajime no Ippo is. If you don't know who Hajime, what Hajime no Ippo is, it's a great fucking boxing anime. And you can watch it for free on YouTube. So you can go on YouTube, look up Hajime, H-A-J-I-M-E, no, N-O, space, N-O, and then space, Ippo, I-P-P-O, Hajime no Ippo. Look it up. It's all, all Everything's on YouTube. You can, uh, there's like, I think there's like, yeah, there's like two movies. Uh... It's a great fucking boxing uh, anime. They really, they, they, I mean, it's an anime at the end of the day, but the, the fucking anime is fucking great. Like, uh, people should really watch that. And I've been kind of watching it because during the fights, they have a commentator. They always have the same commentator in the anime to commentate all the fights. And I've been kind of like paying attention to see how he explains shit and do stuff. And I've just been researching because that's what I want to do. I want to commentate. I want to. I want to create a. a a visual is a, a visual in people's heads as they're fighting. Also, try to be witty with it. Try to be funny with it. You know, just trying to have fun overall. Because uh, what you gonna call it? Like, I, I just don't want to like just say, "Oh, good shot." Oh, good. Shot. I don't want to do that. I want to create a visualization of what the heck, uh, what the heck I'm I'm seeing, right? And that is my goal for this for the what you gonna call it for the live stream for rtu for road to undisputed yeah i'm put the volume up because i like to listen to the volume a little bit let's not put it too high because i'm still talking so yeah that's my goal trying to keep it unbiased as well but i would love to hear what people love if you guys are tuning in vote tell me who you guys got do you guys got jake paul or do you guys got the the guy the unknown guy ryan borland and my opinion uh 
This is kind of like a layup for Jake Paul. He's been lately fighting guys that he should have been fighting just to build up his record. You know, keep it traditional. Uh, instead, he goes and fights the uh, UFC guys, which isn't bad. Because the UFC guys he's fought, they're, they're combat tested, obviously. But they're not boxers. You know, this game of boxing is different from from UFC. You know, UFC, uh, at least from my understanding, they, 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 they score on the amount of damage you do to your opponent. While in in um, boxing, we go round for round, not necessarily the amount of damage, but what you want to call it, uh, the amount of punches landed. That's a big thing. Uh, jabs compared to hooks, or power punches and body punches. Like that all gets broke down on the comp on the concubox. I think I'm saying that right. And then judges kind of feel okay. Uh, this, this this person won that round. That person that one round. And obviously, if you get knocked down. That's an automatic 10, uh, 10 eight round going to the person who the 10 points goes to the person who, who did the knocking down. And I have my scorecard ready. Boom. Uh, hopefully I, people can see it. Yeah, I got to gotta make sure I got the thing. Okay. So I got the top Jake Pauls and uh, Ryan, Ryan um, Borland's ready. And at the bottom, I got An Amanda Serrano and Nina Mink, Mink, Nina Mink ready. And low-key, low key, I'm excited for this fight. Like, I'm really excited because, I mean, I, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest Jake Paul fan, but uh, I'm a Jake Paul boxing fan. Like, I like the fights that he puts on. I like the fact that he has MVP going on and he's helping a lot of these new coming, uh, which I'm going to call it, um, boxers. Uh, helping them out and and the promotion the the the, the, the little events kind of like Golden Boy is doing how they've been doing they they're pretty lit like they go out and you know uh, like they be talking and and they be saying that oh, possibly if you get the knockdown they probably give you like a cash bonus sort of situation so it gives more incentives to the fighters to really go all out and really put on a show for us boxing fans and to be honest that's just great overall you got to respect the business mind of jake paul whether you hate him or like him and the boxing i like i like the boxing side he's doing he, he does he's doing really good uh i'm glad he's fighting these type these type of guys we're gonna see I did hear rumor that he was going to try to make a fight happen against this uh, boxer named Niraj. Niraj. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. It's an Indian guy. I, I remember him from fighting against Jose Zapata. And I love Jose Zapata. Great Mexican boxer uh, from California. Uh, which I'm going to call it. Uh, lost to Porges, uh, Regis Progress. Great fucking fight. They went at it. and But the thing is, he's 140 pounds. At 140 pounds, and they want to make that fight happen. How will it work? A lot of catch weight. Jake Paul right now, they're, they're going to fight at 200 pounds. They're at 199 pounds. And you're trying to fight at 140. Now, granted, Niraj, uh, Niraj, I think that's how you say it now. Niraj. Excuse my ignorance, but I, yeah, he he has a lot of boxing experience, and I I can see him winning the fight. But I just like if Jake Paul is really taking this serious, I think he should fight in his weight class because if he really goes that route, he's really just going for the clout. But if he fights in his weight class, he goes against these guys. Oh, some of these guys aren't in his weight class. Obviously, they're going up, but they're not too far. You know, the last guy he fought, I think he fought at 168 or once, uh, 175. They end up going to like 180, I think. Uh, this guy is the same thing. He's a pretty heavy dude, and they're going. Oh, oh they're doing the. Oh, they're doing the, the anthem right now. But yeah, if, if, if that's going to happen, I think, yeah, he needs to stay in his weight class. The cruiserweight weight class isn't the most popular weight class, I will admit. But I don't know. Like, unless he tries to go down on one seventy five, there's some there's, there's some pretty known faces there. It would be kind of cool. Cru I mean, cruiserweight. There's I mean, 
Sordo Ramirez just got into Cruiserweight. If you guys didn't catch the Sordo Ramirez versus Joe Smith fight, great fucking fight. I actually had Joe Smith. I wanted Joe Smith to win. I bet money on Joe Smith. But yeah, Sordo Ramirez, uh, and the reason I put money on Joe Smith and I, I had in the beginning of the fight, well, Joe Smith winning was because I thought Sordo Ramirez was just going to come forward. And I thought, and I was going to give the opportunity for Joe Smith because Joe Smith does that same thing. He, he just comes forward. Uh, but Sordo Ramirez surprised everyone and completely boxing a whole different style, moving around, using his pivoting around, using his feet. It was great boxing, really great boxing. And it, but he got clobbered a few times with Joe Smith. Joe Smith is a very par- powerful, uh, what you call it, uh, puncher, and he almost he almost got him out. He was just looking for that one punch. It get it kept getting smothered. It didn't land enough. Couldn't break him down enough. But it is what it is. And Sordo Ramirez got the fucking win. He had to move up because he used to fight at 175. But, but ladies, yeah, but that, that, yeah, I definitely think Jake Paul should um definitely stay at his weight class. If he is trying to go down, that's not a bad idea. But still, try to fight guys that are in your weight class. Fight guys in your weight class. That's really gonna one is gonna is, is gonna improve his skills. You know, it's gonna definitely improve his skills and. And because, yeah, at the end of the day, you, well, whoever guy he fights, it's going to give him shine. Like, we don't know who Ryan Borland is, but he's giving he's giving a big paycheck and he's giving the opportunity to upset like the world and basically become an overnight uh, sensation. You know, he has that opportunity. If he's able to knock out Jake Paul, he will become very famous, at least for a fucking week, you know. Oh, and then. If he gets the knockdown, he lands that one punch to knock out Jake Paul. That's a meme forever. You know, Jake Paul knows this. So, you know, you could say he's cherry picking, but he's, you know, he's he's on his way to becoming a, 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 well, he wants to be a world champion. And so, like, it's just weird because he's such a novice and he's pulling up these events. He's the main event. It's just, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's, you don't see this in boxing. You've never seen this in boxing. But it is what it is. We're living a different era. And it's fucking entertaining. And now we got Ryan Borland who just entered the ring. Jake Paul is about to ring with a chicken suit. Is that, that's a chicken, that's a Power Rangers chicken suit. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta check my live stream, make sure I um I haven't been talking to air. <laughs> but I can't wait to see the fight. Oh shit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is about to start. We got Jay Paul looking like a Power Ranger chickens. <laughs> What the fuck is he wearing? <laughs> oh. It's crazy too that he brought this fight to Puerto Rico. You gotta you gotta give him props for that. You really do. Alright, so I got my pencil. I'll, so for the remain for the fight, I'm gonna change it up. So usually I would call the fight and round by round I'd say who won the fight, who won the round. Uh what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna commentate and like I said, that's my whole. Is that a gunman? Oh shit, sure, he got reggaetoneros on his <laughs> coming out. But anyways, I'm gonna call the fight, commentate, create a visual art. See, I'm gonna do my best. I'm still, I'm still new to this, so bear with me if you can. And, and I'm gonna score my card, and then we're gonna see at the end of the fight how it came out. If it comes out a knockout, it comes out a knockout. But I'm actually looking forward to it because I, I like to see, you know, I'm always looking for the new fighters coming up. And, you know, I like to see a new fighter shine. Jake Paul is definitely a new fighter. I love him or hate him. It is what it is. Who's going to win? Jake Paul, 83%. And then 17% of those votes were for Ryan Borland. And that's what people should be doing is tuning in and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Who wins, Jake Paul or Ryan Boyland? Right now, I got nobody voting. Sadness, sadness, sadness. <laughs> it is what it is. Usually, I don't get votes for the first poll. 
Because I started so soon and people <laughs> just tuning in. But it's going to be fucking interesting. I'm going to love this. All right. Now we're just waiting for them to call the fight. Just call each other's fighters. God. Damn. Damn. This is going to be fucking interesting. I'm actually interested to see if, if if Ryan does something. If he's durable. I mean, he looks like some. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know his backstory. I don't know anything about this guy. I just know he's had a few fights. I think he's had a few losses, too. Uh, but I do know that he doesn't fight uh, too much. I think his last fight was maybe two, two three years ago. And the, his fight before that was two, three years ago, too. So, like, he's on and off at the end of his career. So, we, But we don't know at the end of the day what goes through in, in his life. All righty. Oh, really? Vamos a ver quién es el más macho. <laughs> Fucking announcer. Let's see his... They call him the Rhino. The Rhino. Ryan Borland. 17 wins. Six of those in knockout. Two losses. And reigns from Dixon and D. Via Viejo, California. He's from California. Woo. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> California is a little is a weird is a weird place. But I ain't gonna talk shit. I'm just gonna say it's, it's California in general. I haven't been to everyone in California, so I can't really talk shit. But the places I've been, yeah, it gets a little, it gets a little weird. Ryan Borland, Ryan the Rhino Borland. Yeah, yeah. What's up with the chicken suit? <laughs> What's up with the chicken suit? <laughs> All right, Jake Paul, eight wins, five of those of knockout, and one loss coming from Cleveland, Ohio. Is he still? Oh my god, he's still doing the the, the different color gloves. I hate. That. I'm be honest. I'm not a fan of that, just because it it can mess up the the eyesight, your opponent's eyesight. It's strategically good, but I'm like, if we're going if we're going to keep things fair, we should keep things fair. Like, I mean, one can argue it's fair, but for me, I feel like you know, I get it. He's trying to be. He's trying to look fly, trying to combine colors and stuff like that. That's his thing. That's what he's doing. I don't, I don't blame him for trying to do that because I would probably do the same thing. But I, I think when it comes to the glove situation, like you know, keep it the same color because it it can mess up a person's eyesight. But I mean, we're talking about little details now. But it is what it is. The fight is about to start. We're gonna see how this fucking ends. Jake Paul versus Ryan Borland. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm trying to get my voice. I'm trying to find the right voice for the commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Both fighters being in the ring while the referee tells him instructions. Both fighters looking fierce. Ryan Borland smiling. Says, I'm ready for this shit. I love the I love the confidence in Ryan Borland. Spewing away and be like, dude, I'm ready for this shit. Like for real, for real. Jake Paul also looking ready right no 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 Ryan to me is giving me but there we go we're going in let's see let's fucking let's fucking go and round one begins both fighters me and each other in the middle of the ring 
Both fighters throwing feints. Jake Paul putting the stick out. Jake Paul initiating with a left check. A left check hook. Ryan throwing his... Jumping into some shots. Trying to catch Jake. Jake Paul countering with a left hook. Using that left hand. At all his possibilities right now. Finding the distance. Taking his time. Finding the good shot. Loading up on that right. Not letting it go yet. Throws it to the body. Jake Paul releasing the power. Landing in the body of Ryan Borland. And a combination from Jake Paul. With a 1-1 one, one and a 2 to the body. Or more like a 4 hook. Using a good combination. Ryan Borland putting that jab in his face. Trying to corner him. Jake Paul initiates the clinch. To get out of that situation. Back in the middle of the ring. Ryan Borland taking a few body shots. Jake Paul stepping back. Borland on the on the offensive. But Jake Paul pushes him back with, with jabs. And Jake Paul using his footwork to circle around Ryan Borland. Ryan Borland not really circ uh, cutting the ring. He's taking a lot of punishment right now. Ryan Borland might have felt that body shot. and might have felt that right hook to the... Jake Paul has Ryan... Jake Paul has Ryan hurt. Ryan is struggling to stay up. He's throwing some few punches. He's still in the game. Jake Paul backs up just a little bit. Give him some space. He's taking his time. Has him by the corner. Tries to uppercut and misses... Follows up with a with a jab, lands it. Ryan trying to recover. Ryan in the corner gets hit with a body shot. One and two body shots. Gets hit on top of the head. Ryan right on the ropes. Jake Paul is hunting him down. Boom, boom. Jabs, jabs from Jake Paul. Tries to land the uppercut. Still misses it. Now he's just unleashing Jake Paul. Gets hit with a left by Ryan. But Jake Paul unleashes, and the referee wants to stop it, and the referee stops it. It's a knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Paul gets the motherfucking knockout on the first round. I made I made this scorecard for no reason, <laughs> but it is a first round knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom. TKO, stoppage. Referee was stopping it, but it looked like it looked like Ryan was going down regardlessly. He was stuck on it. It was hurt around the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Paul takes the first round knockout. Getting the motherfucking Well, there goes that poll. <laughs> I'm going to end this poll. And I'm going to start a new poll. Because there was no point for that poll. I'm going to create a poll. I'm going to now create the Amanda Serrano versus, um, what you call it? Versus Nina. All right, all right. <laughs> so I took off the Jake Paul <laughs> Ryan board. <laughs> Fucking, uh, I took that one out, and I put up the new Amanda Serrano for Nina Mink. Nina Mink. It's Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, who are tuning in, please vote. Who do you got, Amanda Serrano or Nina Mink? I would love to know. Yep. Now they're just doing replays right now, and it was a right hook that landed right on the temple of of. Of Ryan Borland, that that was really like that really started the the hurt. 
boom almost landed that uppercut jake paul was trying to land that same uppercut that that dropped his last opponent i do like that ryan was still throwing he threw a few shots here and there and even the barrage but jake paul took him very well Whoa, first round knockout. That's very exciting. <laughs> the funny thing is that I, I think I did bet on the first round knockout. <laughs> I got to check this shit. I didn't even put too much on it just because, like, I'm like it was, it's not too exciting. Like, I, I kind of had a feeling it was going to go that way. But... Yeah, I knew, I kind of felt like it was going that way. Like I said, this first round. Yeah, I put <laughs> I put two bucks. <laughs> I put two bucks on the first round knockout, and I got like seven bucks out of it. <laughs> oh, was it the first round, or did I just? No, it was the first round because that was the only plus. It was like a minus for knockout in general. But I, I just put it on the first round because I'm like, this is, I think there's a big possibility you can. So, yeah, I was, so, uh, like I said before, I was going to reveal my score after the fight, but he didn't give me much to score. <laughs> this was up. Now he has to go up in competition. Now he really has to go. In. He already fought two guys. He already fought Tommy Fury. And I thought it was a good idea for him to fight these last two opponents that he's had. I think it's the best thing for him. Get some confidence going. Get a, get some knockouts in. Get some reels. And, you know, just get better in the competition. I don't agree of him fighting that Niraj guy. He's a, he's a 140 pounder. Like, come on. You're 200 pounds, man. I get it. You, he's more, he's more of a veteran. He's, he's more skilled. He's, he's been doing boxing more. But there's weight classes for a reason. And yeah, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it to be honest. I don't like it to be honest. And it's not like you're Terence Crawford going up to 168 to fight Canelo. I think everyone believes that Terence Crawford can possibly win against Canelo. Personally, I don't feel like he does, but definitely would give us a fight. He would definitely fight, but I don't want to see that fight. I would rather see him go against Jaren Boots Ennis. I would rather him go up and wait and fight Tim Zhu or Virgil Ortiz. I've been waiting for Terrence Crawford against Virgil Ortiz. Virgil, Virgil Ortiz, I swear to God, is going to surprise people on 154. Unfortunately, he didn't have the best uh which i'm call fight in his last fight uh, coming to 154 for the first time uh, ended up in the first round knockout uh which i'm call the referee stopped it way too soon uh but turns out that he had like brain damage beforehand and referee had knowledge of that so because he had knowledge of that he saw some damage got he saw that he got hurt a, uh, a bit but could definitely be big time damage if, especially with already brain damage uh and stopped the fight pretty early uh, a lot of people got <laughs> pissed off but <laughs> i had the second round and it looked like it could have been but not knowing that he had brain damage you would have never known uh, it is what it is but oh no he's not no no we can't no he cannot be delusional like that he just said that he's the face of the sport no he's not he is not no, no, you're not the face of the sport. I, he's entertaining, but not the face. He's not the face. No, no. Comment if you think Jake Paul is the, the face of boxing. <laughs> he's not...
Damn, you traded the whole event like a YouTube <laughs> YouTube promotion. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share, which you should be doing too. <laughs> Subscribe and like, please. <laughs> That's crazy. They gave him the nickname El Gallo. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> Well, that was the Jake Paul versus Ryan Borland. Well, first round knockout. We're going to see what's up. Now we're going to get ready to uh, watch the, um, the whatchamacallit, Amanda Serrano versus Nina McKean. Nina Mink. Nina McKean. Nina Mink. That's what I mean. And Amanda Serrano versus Nina Mink. That's who we're ready to see now. The main event. And this is important because Amanda Serrano has been always, always, uh, what you would call it, fighting for three-minute rounds and 12 rounds. I think sometimes they'll do 10, not 12 all the way. They'll do 10, so it'll be three-minute, 12 rounds. And it's an important thing, and I, I agree, to be honest. I totally agree. You should The women should do three-minute rounds because they just be going fast like that, two minutes. Because say they go 12 rounds, that's only 24 minutes. Say they only go 10 rounds, that's 20 minutes plus like a minute of rest. You're talking 30-minute bout, but they just go fast. And it's, it's cool, too, because they just be throwing punches in those two minutes because they got to prove themselves within those two minutes that they won the, uh, they won the fight. Crystal Rosado, Gloria, Munguia, Mid... Oh, shit, I missed it. Oh, that Euphoria guy, uh, it was a draw. Now, now actors are fighting. <laughs> well, he's still young enough to to really go in, so why not? Real life with all the what is these? What is this? This is OnlyFans promotion. Oh, jeez. Blazy, 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 bloom. Everybody wanna want what they won't do. Ah, uh, commercials, 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 commercials. I don't even know what to do now. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a quick um, pause until the next fight starts. So you're going to see a screen that says the uh, next fight starting soon. Uh, I will be back as soon as the, the uh, it's getting close to starting that fight. Uh, I, I decided because, you know, there's so much dead space between fights. So I thought it would be cool just to put it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this is more of a test around. Uh if you guys like it, let me know, uh, you know, because I, I really don't know what to say. I, 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 I was hoping this fight would have <laughs> gone longer, but it is what it is. So, all right, I will now switch it up. And you also get to enjoy some music, too, from our newest, uh, which I'm call Everyday Struggle album. Uh, also, links in the description. Go check it out. Uh, go to virtualhighsound.com, www.virtualhighsound.com, or you can check out the, uh, you can stream the album on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, uh, whatever streaming platform you use, Deezer, Pandora, and stuff like that. We're everywhere, so check us out, see what you th see what you think, see what you like, or you can also go to our website 
and you can pay whatever you want we accept all sorts of donations and not only would you get the whole project but you will get the project the songs plus the instrumentals instrumentals with hooks in case you guys want to record something over and want to rap with us i think that'd be fucking cool i would love to hear people's verses on our on our project beats and also has um five wallpapers you know a little artwork you can put on your phone it's pretty cool i have it on my phone uh, let me see if i can show you guys See, this is one of the artworks. This is the album cover artwork. So the album cover is usually a square, but like this one's like the full thing. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, go check it out. We're going to take a quick break while the next fight starts. And I'll see you guys very soon. Wait, hold up, ladies and gentlemen, my bad. I'm. The fight has been canceled. The fight just got canceled. Oh my shit! Oh my god! What the fuck? What? They're, they're announcing that the fight just got canceled. The main event, Amanda Serrano versus Nina Mink. What? Wait, okay. Not, whoa, this is fucking crazy. I've I never seen shit like this. I'm pretty sure it's happened before, but i never seen a fight get canceled within the event. Okay, they're asking Amanda Serrano why. The doctor didn't clear her? So the, 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 the doctor didn't clear Amanda Serrano. What the fuck? That is crazy. So the fight gets canceled because the doctors didn't approve her fighting because her cornea was exposed and her fighting could, could, could risk her losing her eyesight. So this happened 36 hours ago. They went through a press conference. They went through through weighing. Then then they went through all what? Wait, what? Well, 36 hours 36 hours was 24 hours ago. That was the weigh-in. So this happened around the weigh-in at least.
Oh, that shit is crazy. That is crazy. Holy shit. What the fuck? WTF. The fight got canceled. Commissions didn't allow it. The doctors didn't allow it. She could lose her eyesight. She's ready to fight. She's wearing the bling. The Nina Mink is... She's ready to fight. Wrapped her hands. I think she has her boxing gloves on. Wow. Wow. I'm baffled. What What a... I mean, I mean, it sucks. Like, it sucks more for for them, cause, and they're and what's cool. I like I, that's what's up about about Jake Paul. I give, they're, they're giving everybody in the audience a hundred percent refund, a one hundred percent refund. Everyone left. <laughs> it was a lot. There was way more people. Yeah, her hands are wrapped. Let me see Nina Minks. I want to. I want to hear Nina Minks. Is what she feels. What a huge! That sucks for them. They're losing a lot of money. They're giving money back too. They still went with the the whole with the whole card, other than the main event. So that means everyone gets paid. So that's what's up about that. Like at least at least the fighters under the card, fight uh get paid. Uh, but it just sucks that Amanda Serrano couldn't couldn't get in there. Uh, and shit. With that being said, you know it sucks. It really does. But I mean, what are you going to do, right? So with that, I'm just going to go to ESPN. Because <laughs> I will, hopefully, hopefully the main event hasn't started. Because that's, I'm going to be honest, I really wanted to watch the Raymond Ford fight. Oh shit. All right, so we're switching gears, people. We are switching gears. It is what it is. That fight got we're back on ESPN. We're on top rank. Right now we got we got what should we call it? Um Menado Lopez against Abe, the Japanese man against the Mexicano. And they're at round four, and we're just we're just barely getting in on round four. And it seems that Abe has like a crazy swelling, and he's been taking a lot of punches. Fucking uh, Bernardo Lopez ain't no he's he's a powerful puncher. He likes to just throw go in and just leap in with punches. That's why they call him Bernardo because he be flying. I remember seeing his fight against this young man. I forget his name, but like that young, I was rooting for the young man. He was the underdog, but. It is what it is. We're changing. <laughs> we switching gears. We are switching gears. We are switching gears. All right. So, round four, we got Lopez versus Albin. 
And Abe's right eye is looking crazy right now. He's almost turned his whole head around. A minute, a minute left into round four. Lopez doesn't look like he has a scratch on his face. Abe in the southpaw position just trying to get away. He's, he really can't see from his right eye. Lopez is trying to, like, just end it already or just land more shots, trying to land that, that right eye of, of Abe. He's throwing a few arm punches. Lopez is telling him, but Abe is still down to fight. He said, vamos, vamos. Shit, I can still see from one eye, and it's my good eye. Boom, smacks him. Abe smacks Lopez. Now circling around the ring. Boom, hits him with a nice southpaw straight. Lopez just hunting him down, moving around, just walking. Walking in the range, throwing weird punches. Oh, oh doing these weird head movement things. Ten, five seconds left into the round four. And I'll be on the bike a little bit. So I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna score this card because you know we're in round four. But we're gonna see who how he goes. Now I gotta I gotta make a little adjustment to the to the thing. See, we gotta make like a slash. Oh, he got a thumb in his eye. All right, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just had to like. There we go. Just had to adjust the the the, the title. I'm gonna have to adjust the thumb the thumb the thumbnail as well. Cause I wasn't expecting to, to get into this fight. To be honest, I was like, oh, we're gonna get into the into the Manasarana fight, but it just got canceled. But back into the round five of Lopez versus Abe, the Mexicano versus the Japones, and right now. Mark Krigler has Lopez winning every single round, one, two, three, and four. And ladies and gentlemen, right now we're in round five with two minutes left in the third. Abe is trying his best not to get hit on the right eye. It's looking like they were just commentating that he just got a thumb into his eye, and that's why he got all fucked up. But Abe is still game. He's like, nah, let's do this. It is for a championship. Uh, Lopez is the champion. Boom, boom. I almost forgot I got a... Destroy this poll. <laughs> right now, I'm going to put the poll up for Raymond Ford and, and Alt Beck. And let's see how it goes. Boom, boom. Lopez leaping into some shots, some hooks, landing a little bit on, on the face of, of Abe. Abe stepping in, fainting, trying to get in, trying to find that good shot. Lopez using his jab to create distance, but also use, uh, creating a um, controller in the middle of the ring. Lopez looking to go back into the middle of the ring. Abe trying to push forward. Lopez on his, on his footwork right now. But Abe is very aware that Lopez has some power. And understands that he's hurt and really can't see with one eye like this right now and like that. Like that, like that. I'll be throwing up. I mean, Lopez throwing body punches and then following it up with a left hook to the face. Abe says, let's do this. Trying to push Lopez to the ropes. Lopez is, is aware of the is aware of what he sees. Sees everything that Abe is 
wants to faint throw, ready in his head to move out the way. Lopez throwing a huge right, slightly lands. I'll be landing a few shots of his own, but doesn't doesn't get doesn't create too much distance between him and Lopez. Lopez is uppercutting the crap out of Abe as the bell rings, and we and both fighters go back to the corners, trying to rest for one minute as we get ready for round number seven. No, that's round number six. My bad. We just did round number five. This is crazy. There, I got to do one little more thing. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. I just realized that I have this fucking, wow. We in round number fucking six, ladies and gentlemen. Abby and Lopez. Lopez. Just putting the pressure and then smacking Abby as Abby tries to hit him with a body shot but gets countered right away. Sorry, I'm just downloading the new thumbnail. Both fighters on the foot on the foot battle, getting them feet tangled. Lopez staying in the pocket, avoiding all shots of Abe, just catching them. Now trying to shoot Abe, looking for Abe. Lopez looking for Abe. Abe just trying to create distance with his jab. Lopez smacking Abe to the body. And I've been pivoting away from the corner, trying to stay away from Lopez, create distance as he tries to recover his eye. His eye looking very, very bad, basically shut. He can't see nothing. He only has his left eye to to, to rely on. Abe goes to the ropes. Lopez unleashes a few shots, tries to hit an uppercut. Abe gets out of the way. And says, no quiero, no quiero estar aquí. Boom. Lopez smacking Abby in the face with a right hook. Abby unleashing a few shots of his own. Just trying to get points. And say, I'm still game. I'm still alive. My eye might not work. Referee, you need to get the fuck out the way. With, with all due respect. Well, in fairness, all both fighters are moving around. Boom, boom. Lopez is just landing shots. Not with urgency. He knows that Abe is hurt. And he doesn't feel the power of Abe as well. Ooh. Abe landing a straight left hand on the face of Lopez as Lopez tried to jump in. But Abe moving out the way ever so slightly just to land that punch. And Lopez took it very well and is now on the... On the hunt again, throws an uppercut to Abe's face. Abe walking, basically walking to, to to the other side of the ring to follow Abe. And the round ends with Abe countering with a jab. Lopez is fu being frustrated, but it's definitely looking like he's winning the fight. Boom. Boom. 
Damn, total punches right now so far, 301 from Lopez and 127 landed. And Abe throwing 206 punches with only 48 landing, showing Lopez's defense and head movement. And we go on to round seven. Going to see what is up. Fight starts with Abby in the corner and by the ropes. Lopez just keeping him there. Smacks him a few punches. As Abby tries to leave the ropes. But Lopez was just prepared for him to leave in the house and catches him. And Abby now trying to find those those shots. Lopez doing a cross. Putting both arms around in front of his face to create a shield. And Lopez just continuing to come forward. It's Abby. <laughs> Walks back into the ropes. Keeping Lopez trying to keep him there. But Abe still throws a few of his own. But Lopez reacts very, very well and avoids those punches. Showing his head movement and his footwork in the pocket. Lopez throwing his hands up in front of his face. Trying to get Abe to, to throw. And Lopez just, let's go. Pounding his chest to say, hey, let's go. Let's do this. If you're going to fight, let's fight. Abe pushing Lopez back, trying to get off them ropes. Lopez is in, is not letting him off. I've been cornered. I've been trying his best to get out of that freaking corner. I think might have got hurt. Might have got hurt right now. He's trying to get away on his bike a bit. Trying to create distance. Lopez says, no, I'm on your ass. Lopez throwing his body punches. Gets caught with a few with with his face. Because I, be, I mean, Lopez's hands are just low as hell. Puts him up, but starts throwing his punches. And as soon as he starts throwing his punches, his hands get low. Abe takes advantage and throws a few jabs here and there. But they don't seem to do too much to Lopez. Lopez blocking everything that Abe is throwing at him. Abe taking advantage of getting out of the way and getting out of that corner. But it's still being hunted down by Lopez. Ooh, gets thrown with body shots. His eye is getting worse. Abe's eye is getting worse. Lopez isn't even really trying to hit the eye. He's trying to throw. He's trying to damage the other eye, if anything. Both fighters just using the whole ring that they're even bumping into the referee. Referee just trying to get out the way, but his old ass, his his legs ain't ain't as they used to be. <laughs> Am I in frame? Okay, I should be in frame. Okay. And round seven, I think it was, that just ended. Same old, same old. Woo. I am so fucking hungry. <laughs> I truly am. I truly fucking am. And uh, now I'm just Googling and seeing what, what I want to eat. <laughs> Because after these fights, then I'm going to go get something to eat. I truly think they should stop the fight because Abe is in... Who knows this boxing at the end of the day, so I'll leave, I'll leave my remarks for some other day. But that's how I feel. Should I do Kane's? I feel like he's a Hawaiian. I can just order it right now. All right, round.
And we're in round eight, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me for not calling the fight right now. Is because I'm, I am, I am putting my order in <laughs> for food. Oh yeah, and Lopez has I've been hurt. Lopez has I've been hurt. And the referee ends the motherfucking round with a TKO. It says that. Abe has taken too much. I'm putting my order in for too much damage. <laughs> Make it mango orange. I saw que can que chingao. Aturo puro puro eta tikeo. Y con dinero y sin dinero. Damn. Shit, I want some money. How I know I know my motherfucking boxing. They better give me my money back for for, for the Amanda Serrano. I had some bets for Amanda Serrano. And after this fight I made some money as well, guys. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to Luis Alberto Lopez. Winning by technical knockout in the first 39 seconds of round eight. And because of that knockout and because of he won for between the first minute, he actually made me some money. So my calculations have been on point lately. For, I've, I've been winning so far all my bets. And I put these bets like a few days before because I, I wanted I wanted to be I just wanted to like be calculated and not worry about the bets while I'm watching the fights. So like I don't even know I had these bets in place until right now. Also put some food in. I'm hungry as fuck. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just put in the poll for Raymond Ford and Otabek Kum Kolmatov. Kolmatov, I don't know how to say his name. I think he's from like Uzbekistan. So they're about to go down. It's a championship fight. Oh, Otabek being the favored. Oh shit, he wants to fight um Oscar Valdez. 
He wants to fight the winner of Oscar Valdez versus Wilson. Uh, that's going to happen in March 29. It's actually going to happen in, 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 in Arizona. So I can't wait. Oh, they're fighting for a vacant. Now, Ultabic. Ew, yeah. Hell yeah. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the next fight is going to happen. Ray Foreman, Raymond Foreman versus Otabek uh, Kolmatov. 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 That's how you say his name. Kolmatov. So, Kolmatov versus Ford is coming up next. So, I'm going to hit the next fight uh, starting soon. So, I'm going to hit that while we wait. And I will be back. You'll see my face back. As soon as, um, what you gonna call it, I see that they start doing the rewinds and whatnot. So, uh, I'll be back. <laughs> Set a go get her. All I know is more better. Every time I pull a better, make cheddar. And I ain't wrapped in a minute, and I'm still trying to get it. 20, 50, 100s, or hold the wait a minute. It's a new year, and I'm still smoking. Timeless for the feeling. I be chilling at the crib, smoking, eating, scrolling, watching Netflix. Shotty coming over, give me neck. What's next? Machiavelli, Kiyosaki, books that really taught me. Hit is gonna hate, but they can never stop me. Every page I read is all up in my head. Everything I said is everything I read. Wake up every morning, 5 a.m., and I aim to go higher. More grateful for the blessings that I get. 602, and I still represent these bars overdue, so I pen like it's rent. Cause I ain't wrapped in a minute. 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 I promise I ain't coming short. Dan DeVito, VHS, that's the newest trio. I bet energy will smile like the three amigos who be flowing and going like a Rio is real. You can see these rhymes on my breath. I should sell them by the kilo to all the gringos and the fighters and the brothers and the tias and the tios. And maybe some sluts who need a coin. I ain't talking about casinos. <laughs> I ain't wrapped in a minute like a boxer with his hands. Feel I'm about to hit a bag. In about a minute, always time to get it. Jumping into action like a ribbon. Triple up the digit I envision. And pivot my direction in the painting. I burst up in my dreams, no more waiting. Aiming high, I'm Hawkeye inside of an invasion. in a minute but i'm still fucking with it just buy the chocolate and i guess the golden ticket ain't wrapped in a minute only got one fucking life so i gotta fucking live it man time keeps on ticking heard somewhere that time is money but i got my smoking buddies ain't talking about the homies talking about this weed i'm rolling slows everything down won't pass this bitch around life's like malcolm in the middle unfair bitch just this year motherfucker beware about to go crazy it's your final warning done being lazy coming in storming i'll be remembered like a hometown buffet long and gone but still remember the name rolling perfect say it again one more time for your bitch ass friend <laughs> Breaking point. 
before I stop the noise. I gotta change the tune, it's the only time I make the choice. I gotta make my point before I stop the noise. Or when I buy my tune, it's only right I make the choice. What's my breaking point, 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 point? Never mind, I ain't no boy, boy. Don't play me like a new toy. I've been tense like the new void. I'ma stay strong even when I pop, face my demons and tell them, boy, no. Then I think back when we didn't have much, just write song, rice, joy, coy. Turn to Roy Jones when I'm boxed in. You can even hear the ding, ding, ding. Now it's my turn to turn these tables. They'll be trying to get rethinking. Need a minute, not a few seconds. I'm wishing them and anything that gets in my way. It's time to get paid. I keep no me. Bling, bling, bling. What's my breaking point before I stop the noise? I gotta change the tune, it's the only time I make the choice. I gotta make my point before I stop the noise. Or when I buy my tune, it's only right I make the choice. What's my breaking point, 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 point? And that's my breaking point. I be cooking up that Phoenix joint. Now I'm home alone with Coley cooking, thinking about the plans I have for collecting coins. Zoinks, bitches, boy, yeah, man, I'm past demon times. Smoking up the blind, coming from the grind. Who up, man? You know what the time? I'm sitting in the sun in the middle of summer. Staring at my phone, man, I swear I get dumber. Bling, that's a text, that's a text I get from her. Lady with the pipes, so I become a straight plumber. Later that day, still feel a little downer. Voices in my head, get my face an ugly frowner. Fuck, I'm sweating on my suffers, tristan over dubsticks. Real deal feels top shit, live midlife crisis. Before I stop the noise, I got. I gotta change the tune, it's the only time I make the choice. I gotta make my point before I stop the noise. Or when I buy my tune, it's only right. I make the choice. What's my breaking point? Point, point, point. Feel like my time is running out, quite the opposite. Just gotta get started quick, cause I haven't started yet. Gotta get my money set, so it's time to go. Lose all control. Mm. What's a breaking point when you've been broken? Sick and tired, so I just increase these doses. Me and the coop keep on rolling. Coffee, not our problems, man. This shit is really potent. What's my breaking point before I stop the noise? I gotta change the tune, it's the only time I make the choice. I gotta make my point before I stop the noise. Or when I buy my tune, it's only right. I make the choice. What's my breaking point? Breaking point. All right. It's 4 a.m. I don't got no sleep. I've been up all night. I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go. I know I can't rest, but I got much more. It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night. I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. It's 7:24 and I'm already in the sauna. He's so strong, I could have sworn I'm in Bahamas. Just clocked out, you barely gonna start your shift. I'm in the GT with the white boy going crazy. Hit and then you took your drip. Chill. Now I ain't got none. Just went 36 with no sleep. Damn, son, I only do it cause I can. I don't do it for show. Sure. Ain't no secret to it. Either you do or you don't. Yeah, Young B is the name. And I've been up uh, working hard for more than a couple of days. They say it's the drugs, but the fact I got the dog in me. Double down on two jobs. Damn, ain't no stopping me. Damn, so chill, but I'm slacking out some sleep. I've been up uh, for, mm, I don't know, a couple weeks. I'm um, feeling incredible. Took his available. Eat him a hannibal. Fucking no federal. Spoken a metaphor. Talking to let it go. Take it. It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night. I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been I'm up all night. I ain't catch no Z's. My Let's mind go. wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, Let's go, go, go. But I got much more. Ten steps ahead of these fools. That's why they're fucking with me instead of fucking with you. Ten steps ahead of these fools. That's why they're fucking with me instead of fucking with you dodging every hit like mayweather barely warming up like May's weather. everybody knows you don't want the fucking smoke found out the secret code boom time to explode gotta go get it cause it's not coming to me money don't sleep so why should we up all night you can call me insomniac i could care less gotta get this fucking bag me and this money like secret lovers 
Stay plain under the fucking covers. Smoking a joint so I can stay awake. Never ain't enough, just man, you better be late. It's 4 a.m., I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night, I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. It's 4 a.m., I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night, I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, Check go. It, uh. But I got much more. I think I dreamed about the good old days where everything is okay. And now I'm up till late. Late. I'm building out my map 10 years ahead Pushing out all the hazard And it's a work in progress I won't let bills be heels I still gotta strap my steel toes I don't even, I don't even use the word tired anymore I'ma only get higher like karate breaking board Next time you see me, you would think I teleport Searching where I need to be, check the time on my phone It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep I been up all night, I ain't catch no sleep my It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night. I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. It's 4 a.m. I ain't got no sleep. I've been up all night. I ain't catch no Z's. My mind wants to stop, but I know I gotta go, go, go. But I got much more. I don't know what sleep is at times My mind is wrapped on many worries all at one time Combined with no AC, I can't be pissed If it's on me, can't waste all these hours Spend to find my superpowers I'm like a shower head when I swear you see when I fly I'm a private jet in outer space Feel by what's inside of my chest Like no more dead weight Hope you like my new design I'm a new brand Yo, I really start in 65 I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes in the Stress is overwhelming me, oh my I need some remedy to take care of me I gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes And the stress is overwhelming me, oh my I need some remedy to take care of me I gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up yeah, I'm charged up, pop my collar, feeling fresh to the end, man, I'm a doctor, can't take it easy, money keeps on teasing, she a whole sleazy, finds a way to keep me, when I smoke a blunt, I go, pss, pss, pss. can't take it slow, always on the move, move, money on my eyes like some fucking cartoons, I'm feeling blessed, bro, I, 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 choose. I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes And the stress is overwhelming me, oh my I need some remedy to take care of me I gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up I don't know what sleep feels like sometimes And the stress is overwhelming me, oh my I need some remedy to take care of me I gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up Always at work, I'm talking about 24-7 I know that sleep is for the week I'll rest when I get to heaven Always in the streets, nope I ain't talking gang banging I'm talking walking 10,000 miles Just rhyming and singing Nobody's working harder than me Work so hard like I'm Gary V Adding numbers, but I'm on the Eddie Griffin One plus one is three Whoa, who not know it's me? Cause I will pray for thee Arrivederci a domani I climb through every single mountain Go through every single sea Money need a zillion, not to make a building Made a hundred million, all ones Got a different vision, like a less prescription Looking like a mission, go on I got my money walk Money, 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 money I hear the money talk Money, 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 yeah. money, money, money Like I always say, just trying to get paid Save a little money, cause you know for a rainy day Not a nine to five, I'm pulling more than five tens Get a little sleep, then I eat and I do it all again. Trying to keep a balance at two jobs, double trouble. Ain't no joke, but I got time. Gotta keep a budget, taking you no know, of every digit. What you use? I use a widget. I don't want to work, but can't be on no bitch. Hit ring, ring, hello. That's the money calling me. What you want? Everything. But I got to buy my needs and I got to pay myself first. Build up on my net worth. Fuck it from my pocket. I buy a rocket, then I leave Earth. Money need a zillion. Not to make a building. Made a hundred million. All ones. Got a different vision, like a less prescription, looking like a mission, go on. I got my money walk, money, 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 money. I hear the money 
TikTok. Let's hear that money, 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 money. With the blood, plus the boys making all the noise. Feeling like Mario collecting all these coins. Tenemos una meta, pa que lo sepas. Dinero en la bolsa, hasta que no quepa. Así, eat it. Plan. Adios a dos días de comer maruchan Maybe one day gotta keep on busting my ass Working hard, not enough cash All good though, I'ma keep on trying Stop denying every opportunity to make some green Wanna feel clean, I wanna feel fresh Got this money walk, don't you see my steps? Money need a zillion, not to make a building Made a hundred million, all ones Got a different vision, like a less prescription Looking like a mission I got my money walk, money, 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 money. Uh, I hear the money talk, money, 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 money. Uh, I can hear something speaking, I can hear it clearly, giving me the rendezvous. Where to meet me? GPS getting paid is sweet, I gotta hit the gas, I'm a little focused on my way. Beep, beep, I'm talking down, then you know I gotta get it. Hey, how you doing, neighbor? Hey, what's up? We can use a little bit more and spend it. I'm saving for the future Terminator showed up. You can call me known if you're stone, but I float like a boat. I'm trying to own three or four submarines. We can go Titanic low. I feel complete if I die like this when I'm grateful. Kids at a show I could have performed. Yeah. Money need a zillion, not to make a building. Made a hundred million, all ones. Got a different vision, like a less prescription. Looking like a mission. Go on. I got my money walk. Money, 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 money. I hear the money talk. Money, 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 money. I'm a trendsetter, go getter. All I know is more better. Every time I pull a better, make cheddar. And I ain't rapped in a minute, and I'm still trying to get it. 20, 50, 100, or hold the wait a minute. It's a new year, and I'm still smoking timeless for the feeling. I be chilling at the crib, smoking, eating, scrolling, watching Netflix. Shotty coming over, give me neck. What's next? Machiavelli, Kiyosaki. Books that really taught me. Hit is gonna hate, but they can never stop me. Every page I read is all up in my head. Everything I said is everything I read. Wake up every morning, 5 a.m., and I aim to go higher more grateful for the blessings that i get 602 when i still represent these bars overdue so i pay like it's rent because i I ain't coming short. Dan DeVito, VHS, that's the newest trio. I bet energy will smile like the three amigos who be flowing and going like a Rio is real. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm motherfucking back. Thank you for bearing with me. We about to start the fight. Raymond Ford, Raymond Ford versus uh, Altebeck Cole Mata. I, I really want to try to say that very well. <laughs> All right. Uh, you will see me out of screen because I got food coming in, so it's, it's like almost coming soon, like in eight minutes. So I'm kind of also aware of that. But anyways, shout out to the gentleman to, uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to say your name. Zabiba Ismolova. Shout out to you coming from Uzbekistan. Shout out to them. So far, we have a 100% ratio for, uh, what you call, Otebek Kovatov, 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 my bad, um, excuse me, it's the, the, <laughs> they're very hard names to pronounce, Kovatov, I'm just going to say Kovatov, shout out, everyone feels that Kovatov is going to win, and as he should, right, 12 wins, 11 knockouts, that ain't no easy deal, he's a knockout artist, ladies and gentlemen, but, we about to start. Raymond Ford just did his entrance. Komatov about to do his. 11 wins, 0 losses, 11 KOs. 25, both young. Both very young. So both can definitely do some things here. 
Oh, he's coming out to lose yourself. He won already. <laughs> he won. He won. He won. Dun, 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 No, I got to be unbiased. You might be playing Eminem. is like my favorite, like, rapper of all time. So I automatically, like, go towards the person who comes out to lose yourself by Eminem. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he look calm and ready to lock on. Ah. Now he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's joking how everybody's joking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. Over. Blow. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Soaks his soul mad, but he won't give up. That is the no, he won't. Don't have any won't man uh, my shit better be up all right I need to motherfucking play the theme song I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen hold up I gotta I gotta do this right we gonna we're gonna play this right. Play it's this right. motherfucking fight night. It's motherfucking fight night. Fight night. It's motherfucking fight night. Hit him with the left right. It's motherfucking fight night. It's motherfucking fight night. Hit him with the left right. It's time to go night night. Woo! Oh, that gets you in the motherfucking mood to fucking get into these fights, man. Yeah, that's what I like to motherfucking hear. Yeah. I'm also looking at my motherfucking food. Five minutes away. I better get this shit quick. Because I'm eating right after this shit. So both fighters. All right, Raymond Ford. Age 24, height 5'6", came out at the weight of 120, uh, 126. His record, 14 wins, 7 of those in way of knockout, and 1 draw. Woo. Shout out to Coach Anthony. Out there, if you guys don't know, go on YouTube and go to Coach Anthony Boxing. He is he is my first coach on YouTube when I first started like looking up like how to throw shit, how to like start like how to get back into my like skills. And he was one of the first people I found on YouTube, and that's why I kind of I kind of like Ray, Raymond Ford because he got he's been coached by this guy by this man, Coach Anthony, and he, he really knows his boxing, he really knows his shit. I subscribe to his stuff. I think I, I even bought his lessons, so he has gr he has good stuff going on. We got Altebek Komatov. 12 wins, 0 losses, 11 of those wins coming out of the way of knockout. That man is powerful. Oh, my food's almost here. Shout out to the shout out to the people from Uzbekistan. Uh, what you wanna call it? Um, uh, commenting and say hello. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. And so far, we got a hundred percent people saying that uh, Komatov is gonna win. I can't blame them. They're from Komatov. <laughs> Both gentlemen in the middle of the ring. All right. Uh, my food is coming soon, so I might miss like the first few minutes of the first round. Uh. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. It's about to start. We're about to see what's up. My food is coming, so the first few minutes, I, I will miss the first minute. And we start, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters coming in the southpaw position, pointing their right hands in their face. I will be leaving very soon, right now, for the first few minutes, probably like the, a minute. But it's because I got all Uber Eats. All right, both fighters just filling it out right now. Trying to find some position. Komatov 
trying to throw to the body. Raymond Ford avoiding it. Very twitchy, very fast. Both fighters look like they have very good technique, very technical sound, very technically sound. My food has arrived. I uh, will be right back. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, bear with me. Oh shit! And for smacks, Kobotov. All right, I missed uh, two minutes of it, but I just came back to see Ford smacking Kobotov. Kobotov getting a little bit aggressive now, looking for those shots. Woo! Raymond Ford with a nice jab, smacking the face of Kobotov right now. As we proceed to the last 40 seconds of the round, Kobotov backing up. Raymond Ford establishing his jab real well. Smacking. Both exchanging jabs. Komatov stopping it and stepping in. Misses the jab. And so does Ford. Getting into the clinch. Both fighters looking very focused and very ferocious right now. Woo, buddy. This is going to be a good fight. And oh, shit. Komatov going for a... Trying to go for a crazy freaking... Overhand hook. Missed it and got smothered. Stepped too much in. All right. So because I didn't really watch uh, round number one, I'm not I'm not scoring it. It'll be voided. I will be mentioning the score right after the fight. I won't tell you who wins. So that gets voided. So that's a throwaway for me. The throwaway for me from but from what I was seeing, at least the last minute that I came in after I went to go look for my food. Let's see. So I scratched out a man and Nina me because I wanted to save paper on my notebook. <laughs> you know, you gotta save paper. You can't just be wasting shit, right? So voided. So that round is voided by me. I will I still I will be scoring the next rounds, but I won't reveal my score until later on. And I'll, I'm just going to score from round two and on now. So round one is, is taken away. We'll give, we'll give it a 10-10 to be honest. Let's just do a 10-10. All right. But it did look like Raymond Ford had the better shots, at least jab-wise, in the round one. But now we're in round two, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters meeting in the middle of the ring. Both fighters exchanging jabs. Smashing each other in the face. With them jabs. Raymond Ford. Both fighters very fast. Raymond Ford looks slightly faster right now. Thrown to the body. Ooh. Raymond Ford. Ford throwing a nice jab. Smacking right in the middle of the face of Komatov. Komatov struggling with the speed of Ford right now. Ford throwing a combination. But Komatov is really going in and trying to do some pressure. Raymond Ford is doing great by uh, making them flinch and, and throwing feints in there. You know, just to get Komatov guessing. Komatov trying to throw to the body right now. Tries to throw a big hook to the head. Ford sees it, smothers it a bit. And Ford is just throwing the jab. And Ooh. Like, I know I'm supposed to commentate, but just looking at this, this is a great fight. This is barely round two. Hello, Miko. Hey, don't get on top of me. You stay there. All right. 
Comments up, putting the pressure on. Throwing the power right now. And Ford retaliates, throwing the hook, trying to back up Kamatov. Both fighters continuing to exchange jabs. Boom, just hitting each other. Kamatov being the slightly taller fighter from Ford before having the more reach. Could be, Kamatov could be getting the most of the of the jab. You can definitely hear the thump of, of Ford's um, jab. Nice body shot from Komatov. But Ford retaliates and tells him, here, take this left hook of mine. Right hook, my bad. They are in southpaw position, both fighters. Ford inviting Komatov a little bit, just staying inside the middle of the ring, putting his hands up. But Komatov takes bait and goes for a body shot. He gets hit with a jab here and there, trying to leave. Ford trying to keep control. Oh, and Ford almost tripping. Ford almost tripping. Trips and almost falls and goes all the way to the corner. And Komatov tries to take advantage. Ford was game. Puts his shoulder in. Tries to stop the momentum of Komatov before he can take any big damage. Komatov landing a great sweeping right uh, left hook to the face of, of Ford. Now Komatov is getting rhythm and is throwing legs, uh, throwing legs, throwing hands. <laughs> All right, Coach Anthony giving Raymond Ford. Uh, some direction. Coach Anthony telling Raymond Ford, you have better combinations than him and better speed. I have to agree. I have to agree. His Raymond Ford's speed is very is very, is much a little t slightly faster than Komatov, and is giving Komatov a lot of problems. And, but we're going to see what Komatov does and how he does to take away the speed of Raymond Ford. And we're going to see how Raymond Ford sticks to his plan. Round three, ladies and gentlemen, as we begin, Komatov starts pressuring a little bit, but still both fighters circling around. Raymond Ford says, here's this jab. Let me put it in front of your face. Both fighters just seeing the punch. Komatov trying to hit the body of Ford. Ford trying to retaliate with a jab. Ford goes with combination. Nothing lands. Komatov was like, I seen that coming a mile away. Let's go back in the middle of the ring. And he gives a combination of powerful punches. Throws to the body. Now both fighters in the clinch. Making it an ugly fight. Ford feeling the power. He's backing up a little bit. Komatov unleashing the combo. Landing both in the face and the body of Ford. Ooh, Komatov leaping in with a nice jab, throwing some power into his jab. But Raymond Ford is still game, still trying to control the middle of the ring, staying staying, uh, all, all, all ten toes planted. But Komatov is taking advantage of this, trying to take control of the center of the ring. Raymond Ford trying to take two steps forward, and Komatov takes three st uh, two steps back. Creating that distance. Right now getting into an exchange. Komatov was able to land a left hook. Right hook. My bad. Soft pause. God damn it. I'm just going to say hook. I'm not even going to say the direction anymore. Ooh. And Komatov trying to land a big punch. But misses. Swings in the miss. Ford throwing his combo. First half of the round definitely goes to Komatov. But Raymond Ford is coming back and alive. Throwing jabs. Catching every shot right now from Komatov. As Komatov tries to destroy Ford with a with a combo. Ford countering to the body of Komatov. 
Ooh, Komatov says I can do that too. Ford now pushing the pressure. I think Komatov is starting to be very frustrated. And Ford is now pushing the pressure. Komatov trying to retaliate. Komatov lands a big shot on Ford. Ford is kind of hurt. Tries to go for the clinch. Komatov trying to throw big punches again. Trying to land that big punch. Ford on the, trying to get on the clinch. Now gets his hands up. Tries to throw something. Will Komatov get the KO? Komatov just... Okay, Ford getting back on the clinch. Trying to survive this the rest of the round. Ooh, what a fucking round. But so far, Komatov with the best punch of the of the fight so far. Komatov's trainer, Antonio Diaz, brother of Jose, uh, Josef Diaz. Trainer of Bevo, by the way. It's giving some direction. Ford, Coach Anthony telling Ford, hey, go to the body. Once you see the opportunity, take it. Wake your ass up. Liking this fight so far is a great fight. Right now they're showing the replay. Ford was able to get a shot in too before the big shot. And boom! Komatov throws that big shot, buckles the knees of Ford a little bit on that replay. And we're right here in round number four, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the middle of the ring. Komatov throwing to the body. Raymond says, look, I can do that as well. This ain't no thing. And Ford's pressuring with that jab of his, that lightning jab. Komatov missing to the body as Ford puts in, uh, steps in. Now Komatov throwing a barrage of jabs, trying to create distance as he's doing the whole jump in thing. Trying to find that right shot. Looking for that left hand. Ooh, Komatov definitely showing the power. And saying, this is how I got 11 knockouts in my 12 fights. Ooh. And now Foreman, uh, Ford, countering as Komatov is doing the same thing of jumping in. He's trying to find the timing. Oh, I can't even really speak just because this fight is so good. <laughs> I'm doing my fucking best, though, everybody. All right, Komata says, I'm going to continue to hit the body, trying to break Ford down before getting to this Philly shell. Trying to land a good shot as he's coming in. Gets hit with a few of his uh, Komata's punches. And Komata is definitely dominating the fight so far. Showing levels to this power. And Ford pressuring, pushing, trying to push Komatov to the ropes. Komatov using his lateral movement to get away from the punches of Ford and doesn't get trapped behind those ropes. Komatov throwing to the body with a two-three combination, three-punch combination. Now he's getting countered. Forced to continue to uh, throw the throw the pressure, but it's failing on landing really significant shots. Komatov taking advantage of him stepping in and just throwing a barrage of punches. Some landing, some really not. A lot not landing, to be honest, but just, you know, trying to create points and and giving the judges a good look. Komatov goes for the clinch. Rafi telling them, hey, work it out. Ford trying to fight out of that clinch. Referee finally telling him to break. Ford still trying to continue to come in. Komatov trying to throw a swing in uh, right hand. Misses, making him freaking trip a little bit. Ford throwing to the body. Throws a left hand. Throws another right hand. Komatov retaliates and says, I throw these two. I throw these two. Komatov throwing punches. Bah! Ford says, I throw them as well. Woo! 
What a fucking round, ladies and gentlemen. We getting lit in this fucking fight. I'm glad. I'm now. I'm kind of glad that Amanda Serrano and Nina Meek kind of got canceled because now I get to experience this fight. I get to experience it, and I can't wait till this fight to end because I'm hungry. I really want to eat my food. Right now, showing replays of Komatov just throwing to the body. Throwing to the body of Raymond Ford. Showing his, his, his um, what you call it, his power. The U Uzbekistan. Is that how you, the Uz, Uzbekistan. My bad, my apologies, my apologies. Uz, Uz, Uzbekistan. Miko, what do you want? Get off my balls. <laughs> Get off my balls. Always on my balls, man. Like you can't get on my legs. No, you you go for the balls. Don't shake my camera. <laughs> Day. All right, round motherfucking five. Let's see how this motherfucking thing goes. Both fighters trying to exchange jabs, pushing the pushing the pace. Both fighters pushing the face, throwing all the speed they possibly can right now. But Komatov definitely throwing, landing the more significant body punches right now. But Raymond Ford continuing to push forward as Komatov steps back. Both fighters in the clinch. Referee finally breaks up. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I'm not trying to yawn. It's just that I didn't get much sleep less tonight. But back to the fight. Ford pushing forward, hands up. Getting into that, um, what do you call this? I forget. Just the hands up, hands to the head. You know, kind of like a Mexicano. But Comotel Col really placing the power on Ford. And Ford continues to step forward. Step, step forward, step forward. Trying to catch everything that Comotel is throwing. Because Comotel is definitely going for the body. Throws a barrage of punches, but right now Ford is catching mostly everything. Both fighters trying to exchange uh, jabs. Right now Ford landing a, a good right land, a uh, right check hook. Ford establishing his physical, uh, physical strength upon Komatov on the clinch, showing that hey, I'm strong too. Ford right now landing good jabs, but Komatov is still game. Throw, continuing to throw. The hooks to the body, trying to take the air out of the tires of Ford. I get it? Because <laughs> it's a Ford truck. <laughs> uh, both fighters exchanging jabs, continue to exchange jabs. Ford is swinging and missing. Back into the clinch. Referee breaks. Ford trying to throw punches, missing punches. And then Komatov retaliates and counters with the jab and throws, follows it up with more punches to the body and to the head before catching a few of these. This is great boxing from both fighters right now. Ford landing more jabs and jabs and jabs as Komatov continues to throw uh, hooks, but missing a lot of those hooks. Right now, Ford, what you would call it? Landing a really good, good combo, two combos, three combos. God damn it! Open up a McDonald's for this man. He's getting caught too with some combos of Komata. Komata, both exchanging and both catching each other. Oh, Komata might have hurt Ford. No, Ford is still in this fight. As round motherfucking five ends. Ooh, this was a close round. I don't even know how to fucking. <sighs> Coach Anthony telling Ford, don't let this motherfucker steal those rounds at the end. Coach Anthony is giving Ford some instructions. As you're coming in, you punch him. Telling that Kovata, uh, Kovata, uh, Kov 
Komatov, <laughs> Komatov is punching you. It's, it's when you don't punch, so you punch, you punch. Ah, uh, Raymond Ford pushing the fucking pace again. Trying to back up the bully as Timothy, uh, what you want to call it, Tim Bradley uh, described right now. Pushing the bully back. And as the, the 11 knockout artist, he, he should be the one pushing, but Ray, Raymond Ford is the one pushing right now the the pace. Ooh, Komatov with a combo to the body. Almost gets caught by Ford too, but was able to step back right away. Komatov throwing to the body. Raymond Ford trying to counter, hitting only the arms of Komatov. And right now he's following them. He's following. Let's go. Both talking to each other. I don't know if they understand. Oh, Raymond Ford landing a great combo. Ending it with an uppercut. Landing that uppercut too. And then Komatov retaliates saying, I got these two. Boom, boom, boom. Komatov throwing as much as he possibly can, but it's not everything is landing. A few to the body. But it's starting to feel the pressure of Raymond Ford. We're going to see who's, whose arms are going to give out soon. Komatov dedicating to the body as well. Throwing a nice hook to the body. Trying to trying to slow down Ford, but Ford is just continuing to come forward. Oh, nice right hand from Ford. Landing sneakily on the guard, uh, around the guard of Komatov. Komatov is starting to feel the pressure. And could be wearing out, initiating the tie-up. Ford throwing that jab. Both fighters exchanging jabs, but Ford winning him to the punch. Woo! Komatov trying to swing it, but misses. Tim Bradley just saying there's not enough snap on the punches of Komatov. It could be because he might be he might be getting tired and might be getting hit with the right punches of Ford. Right now Komatov is throwing everything. Ford is slipping and sliding and rolling and and Philly shelling around those punches. Right now getting caught with a few jabs though. Ford get throwing the combos fast speed. Komatov is still shelled up and was able to block a few of those. Both fighters are just throwing and missing, throwing and missing, throwing and missing. Ford just coming forward. Philly shelling and catching the punches of Komatov. Woo! This is a close round, but I think I know who I'm going to give this round to. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I will be revealing the, my scorecard at the end. But definitely, this has been a very close fight. This has been a very close fight. And remember, I'm not counting round one because I had to go pick up my food and I couldn't really see round one. But it did seem that Raymond Ford was this, uh, was landing a lot of jabs on Komatov, at least from the last minute that I, that I got caught up on. But we're going we're gonna to start getting into round number seven. But these last few, oh, these, this is a great fight. I love this. I love these type of fights. It's exciting. I've... I've always, I always thought that the banterweights, the featherweights, you know, those type of ways, those have always been the most exciting fights. They throw punches. They're down. They down. They're down to get to like throw hands. Don't get me wrong. I love the heavyweights. I love middleweight. Is middle the middleweight uh, division is probably one of my favorites, especially one sixty eight. But yeah, these featherweights, these banterweights, they they get down. All right, round number seven out of 12. Halfway into the fight, Raymond Ford establishing the jab, throwing to the fed, dipping down to the body, avoiding the punch of Komatov. Komatov trying to land a few of his own, missing a few, backing up from Raymond Foreman's punches, backing up just enough to not get hit, trying to hit to the body. Raymond Ford saw that a mile away. Gets in, trying to smother in the lands of punch or two. Raymond Ford just smacking him with that jab. Hasn't established anything. Just letting Komatov just come in and throwing his punches and tiring him out. Ford continues to step, step, step forward. 
Gets caught with a few punches here and there. Ford definitely getting used to the power of Komata. Is talking. Talk to the someone on the sidelines. Just end up. He, Ford just talked to somebody in the Ford line. Ford is like, let's it's, let's go. It's game time. Gomatov is definitely showing some frustration right now. And Ford is is just getting started looking like he's having fun, if anything. He's blocking a lot of punches. Throws a body punch. Oh, nice uppercut from Ford. Tries to throw another uppercut and misses. Hits the bicep of, of Komatov. Komatov retaliates with his own uppercut. And Ford is still, is still showing speed. Both get into the clinch. Referee breaks him up. Both in the both in the pocket. Trying to trying to land something on the inside. In fighting. Ford throwing a combo. Ooh. Caught Ford caught Komasa coming in, stepping in with a quick jab. Snapping like just did this to, to Komata's face. That's all I can say. I can't describe it. He <laughs> just like that. Crazy fucking shot. Komatom is getting frustrated. Trying to throw something and trying to land something. But he can't seem. Ford is just game and says, let's go. Landing the better shots right now. Will this end a knockout for Ford? Or will Komatom just get too tired and just start biking? Who knows what's going to happen? This is still anybody's game. Oh, shit. Komatan's hands are getting a little bit low. Ford is, is starting to hit that jab like nothing. Ford now devoting to the body. Trying to slow down Komatan even more. Blocking, throwing to the body, dipping down. Both fighters trying to go down to the body. Oh! Man, I'm too into this fight right now. I'm too into this fight right now. Coach Anthony telling Ford right now that that uppercut is there for you. That uppercut has been landing all night for you. And he ain't wrong. That uppercut has been the, the right punch right now. Body shots. Showing replays of the ugly exchanges, but they're showing the body punches in slow motion. Oof, that was the back of the head. Ooh oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we got to fight in our fucking hands for reals, for reals. Round eight is about to start. They just blew the whistle. All righty, round number the fucking eight. Let's see what we come up with. Both fighters circling to the left. Well, I mean, no, there's circling right. No, there's, yeah, I get circling counterclockwise. <laughs> We're a little bit dyslexic. Right now, both fighters aren't doing much. Just throwing jabs. Komata tried to hit a combo. Probably landed one punch out of the whole combo. Right before, just throwing that jab. Oh, oh, oh! Slipped a little bit. Komata slipped a little bit while he got hit with a jab trying to step back. I don't know if Komata is hurt. Raymond Ford is trying to put the pressure on and trying to get the few hard punches. Komata throws punches back trying to create distance. That was a nice body shot from Ford. Oh, my God. This is great boxing right now. Komata looks tired. His punches don't look like they have any more any much power. Just getting, his head just getting snapped back by the jab of Ford. Ooh, uppercut from Ford again. Landing it very nicely after getting hit to the body. Took one to give one. Both fighters taking one to give one, taking one to give one, taking one to give one. There goes that uppercut again from Ford. 
Oh shit! Throws a combo. Kobota retaliated with punches, trying to take Fort off of him, trying to create distance. Fort says, "Nah, I'm on your ass. We staying right here. We staying right here. Let's fucking go. I ain't scared of you. Mamonos, palo, chinga tu madre. Vete la verga." Fort says, "Nah, come back. Where are you going? We have business to settle." Komata trying to leave the business, trying to get out of the situation just to take a little breather, even throwing some punches. Ford says, that ain't nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's that power come? Can he smack with a fucking jab? Ford smacking with jabs. Ford just smacking jabs. Ba, ba, ba. That jab of Ford's is beautiful right now. And that's right now. Oh, nice uppercut from Ford. Holy shit. Right now, Ford is punishing, punishing Komatov. Holy shit. Komatov, as Tim Bradley just said, Komatov is looking for those big looping shots. This is exactly what he's doing. Because right now, he is frustrated by the punches of Ford. Ford are looking very, very comfortable right now, ladies and gentlemen, as we end round number eight. Now they're showing the replay. They're showing that uppercut that was very beautiful. Oh, no, no, that was a slip. That was a slight slip. Tim Bradley saying that Komatov ha knows that he has a knee problem. Oh, they, oh, they just showed that uppercut of Ford's. Boom. Palo. Right on the cheek. Right on the fucking cheek. Just ah. Tim Bradley saying he's wondering if Komata's knee is injured and could be the reason why he's having problems. Knee problems in boxing, if you have problems with your legs, it is gonna cause it you're gonna see issues in, in the boxing ring. You you don't want that. You want all 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 cylinders running running all you want all in? You're, I can't even talk because I'm. La, 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 round nine. <laughs> Woo! Four just landing those fucking jabs on Komatov. Both exchanging jabs, but definitely the better jab is coming from Ford. Komatov says, "You know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of getting hit. It's time for you to get hit." Now he's trying to put the pressure. Trying to land those hard punches. Ford says, nope, nope, you're not landing nothing on me. Nothing on me. Komata trying to push him like a bull. That's to a matador. Throwing some body punches here and there. Ford says, Let's, I'm game to this. Trying to fight the clinch. Komata looking tired. Looking frustrated. Throwing anything he can possibly land. Trying to cut through the uh, guard of Ford. Ford says, let me throw a few on my own. Oof, smack right now from Komatov. Oof, Ford landing a good shot to the body. Taking a little bit of air from Komatov. Getting to the clinch. Referee bringing him up. Right now Komatov dipping down and rolling out away from the punches of Ford. Trying to create an angle. I'm trying to put that shoulder onto him, pushing him back. Just try to create some space. And Ford just continues to come forward, come forward, come forward. Throwing that jab in front of the face of Komatov. Komatov throwing punches. Beating them in. Meeting them, meeting them midway. Smothering and disturbing the, the, the rhythm of Ford. But Ford throwing a few of his own counter punches. Landing the body of Komatov. Komatov on his bike a little bit, throwing lateral movements on his toes, heads down. <laughs> Ooh. 
Right now, Ford isn't landing too much. Comatel might have landed a few here and there, but more more on the guard of um of Ford as he's moving laterally, circling around Ford. Trying to see what he does with the speed. Landing a good one two on Ford right now. Comatel not doing a lot, just Throwing one, two, three punches, stepping into them, trying to disturb the rhythm of Ford. Woo! And we ended round nine with that. Probably the most boring round of the whole fight. Komatov's trainer right now telling I need more combination, less movement, and more combination. Tell him to go side to side, go to the body. Coach I ain't telling him there's no reason. <laughs> Yuri, hit, Yuri hit you with his best shot. You got this, he's basically telling them. You got this, you got this. We're going to see how this freaking ends as we go to round 10. We in the championship rounds right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is for a vacant belt. Both fighters undefeated. Remember this, someone's old needs to go. And Komata starts the round with a jab to the face of Ford. Smacking him right, poof, snapping the back back. Ford trying to retaliate with a few speed rounds. Papa, papa. And Komatel taking instructions of his, doing the instructions that his trainer gave him, more combos and less moving, trying to get more combos in. We're getting a jab in because everybody knows that the jab is the key to everything. It opens up all types of combinations before this game to this and says, you know what, I'm going to back up a little bit, take two steps in, two steps back. Ooh. Come on. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all the people that just coming in. Woo! This is a great fight. Ooh. Nice left hand from uh, Kamatov hitting Ford. Ford looking like he's slowing down a little bit, not landing a lot, especially not in the last round. Kamatov coming in. Ooh, smacks him with a jab. But Kamatov fires back. With a combination of his own. Komotov playing it very smart right now. Miko, stop moving the damn camera. Komotov finding his rhythm. Moving away, moving laterally. And then stepping in. Oh, but caught, got caught with a jab from Ford. Komatov finding them shots now. Now pushing Ford back. Wondering if Ford is tired of coming forward and taking punishment. But Ford now trying to step forward again. Double jabbing. Just trying to find that distance. Counters. Gets hit with two big body shots from Komatov. But then counters with the left hook. Or right hook, I mean. My bad, southpaws. There we go. Get off of me, Miklo. Ford just, just, now he's just trying to walk down Komatov. Komatov just throwing his punches, trying to land things. Not everything is landing. It's more of a one-two punch. Just throwing two punches at a time just to create space. You can see the bruising of the face of Komatov right now. Woo, Komatov coming forward right now. Oh, nice shot from Ray Ford. Oh, damn. Probably the best shot. We've seen so far. Ooh. 
Another show. Oh, what the fuck? I hate ESPN sometimes, man. They be doing this bullshit on me. Got a fucking... Sometimes my fucking thing is fucking stupid. Last two fucking rounds, we in the championship rounds. Who's going to take that? Oh, this is a close fight. This is a fucking close fight. Boom, boom, boom. All right, round 11, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the championship rounds. Komatel trying to get busy right now. Raymond Ford trying to throw them jabs. Trying to find a rhythm right now. Komatel says, no, I'm going to throw my rhythm. Stepping in, stepping in, bouncing up and down. Now he's walking down. Komatel throwing... Opening punches, not really landing much. Ray Foreman getting out the way. Ray Foreman looking away to get in, but now he's being pushed back by Komatov. Goes into the clinch. Both both fighters trying to get physical in the clinch. But referee breaks him up just in time. Ooh, body shot counter from Ford. That's Komatov trying to throw and leap in with a jab. Oh, nice little little sneaky left hook. Whoa, again, another sneaky hook from Ford hurting Komatov. But Komatov retaliates with a barrage of punches, trying to break down Ford right now. He's like, you going to hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. You can see some, some bruising on the cheek of Ford right now. Just throwing hands left and right, left and right. Ford trying to, just countering. You can see a cut. There's a cut on the cheek of Ford right now. Komatov trying to take the belt, trying to throw all the punches he possibly can in the round 11. We can see the che just blood coming out of the cheek of Ray Foreman. Le Luckily, it wasn't like, it wasn't near anything. What the hell is this? Let's go. Referee calling an accident. That's how the cut happened. Raven Ford now is getting pushed back. Kumatan pushing back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And Kovatov hits Ford with a nice fucking jab. Kind of buckles Ford a little bit. Ford shelling up, trying to get into the clinch. Trying to survive this round in the last 10 seconds of the round. Kovatov is starting to push the pace right now. And he's looking ferocious. Looking like he's hunting. Lands a fucking left hand. Oh, Ford trying to retaliate. But Kovatov continues to come forward. Ooh. One more round to go. So, an accidental clash of heads is what caused the, the cut on Raymond Ford's face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into round 12 right now. Great fucking fight right now. Both fighters shake hands and let's bring it. Let's get let's get down. Boom. Right now, I don't know who's winning this fight to be honest with you. Very 
Both fighters trying to push the pace. It's Komatov pushing the pressure. It's then Ford pushing the pressure. Right now, Komatov is right now pushing the pressure. Ford trying to go from forward. Throwing that jab of his. Showing the speed again. Komatov throwing, launching just ferocious punches. Trying to back up Ford. Ford is, get, is like, I'm not trying to get hit with those. Backs up just a little bit. Gives Komatov some fucking chance to get in. Now Ford is pushing the pace forward. Hitting him with some short punches. Komatov. Oh! And Komatov gets hit with a nice shot. Still standing though. Oh, right now Ford. Oh, Ford landing the better shots right now. I think Ford might be tired. I mean, uh, Komatov might be very tired. He might even be hurt. Just leaning on Ford right now. Oh, four landing great uh, shots on the forehead of, uh, of Komatov. Komatov's power doesn't look like he's is there anymore. His speed is not there. He's throwing punches, but they're very slow right now. He's just stretching them out. Hopefully something lands. Ford is pushing forward. He's looking like he's on the hunt. He's smacked with a jab, but Ford is still coming forward. Now Komatov doing his lateral movement, trying to get out the way. Throwing little jabs here and there, just trying to survive the round. He must be hurt. Ford is like, let's go. What happened? I thought you were him. I thought you were pushing forward. <laughs> Woo, Ford dragging him down. B both fighters in the middle of the ring. Ford smacking him with that jab. We got a minute left into this round. Who's going to take this round? Who's going to take the motherfucking belt? Who's going to win this fight? Both fighters must be tired right now. 40 seconds left. Both fighters. Oh, nice uppercut from Ford. Now Ford. Oh, that was a slip. They called it a slip. They called it a slip. Ford fell. No, no, that was a slip. Come on. Now Ford's on the attack. Last 10 seconds. Oh, shit. Hurts. 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 Nuts. And Ford wins. They call the fight. They call the fight. Komatov got TKO. <laughs> Ford is the new champion. Ford is the new champion. What spirit. Holy shit. Definitely hurt Komatov in an exchange. And, but throughout that exchange of Komatov trying to get out the way, Komatov slips and gets hurt with a few punches. Falls down. Referee calls it a slip. Creates some space. Ford launches him for the last 10 seconds. Hurts him. Tries to unleash. And the referee calls it and says, TKO. Ford takes the fucking fight. Woo! Ford wins. Ford fucking wins. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. And Eddie Hearn in the middle of the ring is promoter. It's true because Eddie uh, Raymond Ford is, was on the zone, but that's what's up about Eddie Hearn. He he'll, he'll let his fighters go fight over on on the other side of the street. Just so they can like get the get the fights. Alright, they're showing the replay of the, the slip. Referee calls it a slip. He's like, no, that's a slip. It's I th I thought it was a slip too. Like he did get hurt, but it was a slip because like he tripped over. Got hits with an uppercut. Ooh. And yeah, and Komatov's back was turned. He got hit with a good shot. Buckled his legs. His legs were almost out. Boom, boom. Palo. What a fucking fight. All right. 
So, I'm not. I'm not gonna count them, but I got one, two. I actually had four. I had four losing. I had four losing this fight. I had four losing this fight. And I'm not even counting the first. Let, let's just say we gave it to Ford on the first round. It would have been five rounds so far to the 11th. And I had six rounds. One, two, three, four, five. Six rounds to, to uh, what's your name? Uh, Komatov. And Ford winning this round. And I, I definitely think he was winning this round. So let's say they, they went the whole the whole fight. They could have. It could have been easily a drawn. I could even see them going towards Ford because he was getting more busy. He was landing more of the combo shots, more of the heavier shots too. Komatov had his moments here and there, but he was just he was just trying to show that that what you call it, uh, just throwing a bunch of punches, bunches and uh, punches and bunches, just to steal the rounds, and it was working for him. I even gave him a few rounds of those. But shout out to Raymond Ford. Did his created just. Showed us a great fight. It just showed. I'm I'm speechless. Cause it's just such a good fucking fight. I'm just waiting for them to to announce it. I think he just called his mom. Hell yeah! The first thing he does is call his mom. He's just making it official. Damn. He got the knockout with seven seconds to spare. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, I had I I put money on Raymond Ford. I put money on Raymond Ford. Mind you, I put these I put these bets last week. And guess what? I got all my bets correct. I got all my bets correct. I said that uh, what should I call it? Um, Benal Lopez was gonna knock out, was gonna get the knockout in the first minute of any round, and was it was gonna win the fight. Uh, I had Jake Paul <laughs> uh, winning in the first round, uh, and then I had Raymond Ford winning this fight. He's a new. Oh my god. Emotional. Yeah. 106 103. 106 103. That means he was he was losing three. He was six to three, and then say he got that round, it would have been six four. Oh no wait. No, I'm stupid. I would be that. It would be let's see, 106 to 103. That means damn. He said that's gonna be his last fight at one uh, at 126. He can't make the weight. He just became champion, so that means he has to vacate the championship because he can't make the weight. So he won the championship, and now he's vacating and going up. It is what it is. He said he outpunched. It says that he outlounded coming up by a total punches of 200 to 182. Damn. This is fucking crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the end of this live stream. Uh... Thank you for everyone tuning in. Thank you for the shout out to Uzbekistan. Komatov put a fucking fight. It is what it is. They got the TKO at the end, Raymond Ford. Great fucking fight. Uh, what you call it? I hope Amanda Serrano gets better, uh, gets well soon. It's unfortunate they had to cancel the main event right away. Uh, but shout out to Jake Paul for giving the people their, their refunds. And what you call it, and also letting all the fighters uh, fight so they can get their payday. That's fucking awesome of you. Say what you want to say about Jake Paul, but that's some fucking G ass shit. Can't wait to see the next fight. Can't wait to see the next MVP event. And I can't wait to see more Raymond Ford uh, going up and wait and see who, uh, how he does there. Boxing is great this year so far. 
uh don't forget to like uh share and subscribe to the channel v8 uh virtual high sound we got plenty other shows we got the don't call it a podcast you also got uh what you call yb young busy doing the gaming thing going live stream he's been going live early in the morning so if you're able to catch him uh what you call it uh say hello to him um also check out the links in the description uh it goes straight to our everyday uh everyday shit album that is out now you can go to www.virtualhighsound.com pay whatever you want you get the album the songs plus the instrumentals plus the instrumentals with hooks in case you want to rap with us and if you do end up getting them please send us please send it to us we would love to hear you guys' verses we would love to see you hear you guys on our instrumentals and how you guys do that would be incredible you also get five artworks eight wallpapers you can put on your phone uh let me show you mine's I gotta take this off. See this? See this? I hope you guys can see it. There's one of them. I freaking love this one. To be honest, this is my favorite one. This is one of them. Just to guys give you another sneak peek. There's the trackless one. <laughs> Fucking badass. And yeah, uh, what you call? Check it out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love. Thank you.